Hey up and welcome to Flooded, the channel that goes behind the scenes, I like to think, of television and the film industry. Uh, there are certain things that go on on this channel. I do like a, a news thing where I talk about things that are happening in films. Ah, uh, I, I owe you. And then I do the more calm stuff like here where I'm on the set of The Bond, not the set. I'm at, I'm at <laughs> Glenny Teeve here in, uh, near Glencoe. And this is where James Bond and Judy Dench stood. And I call this series Filming Locations Revisited because I do television as well. Yesterday I did the video of Mullican Tire by Paul McCartney. So that's, uh, that's here on the channel somewhere. So if this is the kind of thing you're interested in, then you know I'd love to see you down in the comments section and get to know you. Uh, I want it to grow, obviously. <laughs> and uh, I won't be able to do it on my Todd. So it'd be lovely to have you here and uh, come on my travels with me. Welcome to Glenny Teeve. The one of the settings for and he reckons it was down this way. And he stands just over here next to this rock. And M joins him and says, Is this your home? And he goes, Yeah. This is where you grew up. Yeah. I camped here last night. It was fantastic. And uh, I, can't, I can't recommend anybody comes here more. I don't know if you can see, but there are, there's a big JCB down there. Two, two JCBs down there. So that's my luck. So I'm standing here. This is where Bond and M stood. Right here, right here. Next to this rock, I believe. And they looked out. And uh, there's the, the, that's the shot you saw over their shoulders. So I'm on a very wide lens here. I'll change that. There you go, slightly tighter shot for you. You can see the tree in the background there. That's in the shot. I'm getting attacked by midges. Midges can uh, de detect you from up to 200 meters away. And they will come and harass you. But I don't know, I remember seeing the film and thinking, oh, this is amazing. Look at this photography. And of course, Coming to it, everything's a lot, lot bigger than the camera lenses are letting you think. These things are like 45, the tip of uh, these mountains are like 45 degrees up. Absolutely superb place to come and visit. Uh, there's a little bridge just here. Another illusion the film gives you is, is that this is a bit of a wilderness, but I'm afraid I'm gonna have to let you down on that one as well, because Camping here last night, this is like Piccadilly Circus <laughs> with tourists. He's, why do they make camper vans white? I mean, look at this beautiful green and red and autumnal colors, you know, even though it's technically still summer. Camper vans are white. Refrigerators, big refrigerators, just dotted all the way down the road. And last night camping, like, meow, meow, meow. Skyfall's a 2012 uh, spy thriller, like nobody knows that. And it was filmed all over the place like all the films are, that's the, the beauty of them. They're, they travel the globe just like that, <laughs> with a shot of a plane. And uh, or a little bit of text at the bottom of the screen usually. Daniel Craig, Judy Dench as M. And uh, I've got to pronounce his name right here. R Rual? So y Yavir Bardem as Rual Silva, who was the villain. And of course the plot lies around MI6 is being attacked. Bond knows that he has to have a showdown with the baddie, Silva. And so comes here to his homestead, well, not technically here, but close to here, uh, to have the showdown with Silva. Uh, he, there's a tracking device left in place so that they, he can be found. And, um, and he has the fight. Uh, eventually, M succumbs to her injuries, spoiler alert. And uh, Silva doesn't, uh, nobody, nobody beats Bond. When Bond was criticised, the character was criticised for being villainous. 
uh, Fleming wasn't too happy about it. In 1964 he said, I don't think that he's necessarily a good guy or a bad guy. Who is? He's got his vices and very few perceptible virtues except patriotism and courage, which are probably not virtues anyway. But I didn't intend him to be a particularly likeable person. He, he is uh, definitely a unthinking killer. He won't think twice. He won't care about human life. And I think doesn't really care about people uh, particularly, uh, which is what made him so interesting because he's so polite and, uh, you know, he's always playing the game, you know, with the women and, and how he meets other people. He's never flummoxed particularly by uh, situations that are clearly threatening his life. Fleming said, James Bond is a healthy, violent, non-cerebral man in his mid-30s with a creature uh, and a creature of his era, 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 or era. Uh, I wouldn't say he's particularly typical of our times, but he's certainly of the times. And I think that's pretty important. I think that every, Bond should always be in his 30s, like early 40s perhaps. And uh, there will be a next generation Bond. There should be. They shouldn't try continuing it on because he doesn't age. That's important. Bond's always the same age. Anyway, I'm going to stop yakking and uh, go and enjoy this little spot for a while on my Todd, make myself a coffee. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you found this uh, revisiting of this spot interesting. If you did, leave a comment down below. If you've been here, let me know. Uh, got any questions, let me know. I, I am no Bond expert, as you can probably tell, but uh, I'll certainly tell you about this place. If, I know a little bit about it now. I've been here for 24 hours at least. So uh, yeah, leave a comment down below. Please uh, subscribe as well. Uh, this channel's all about film and television and things going on in the background that uh, they don't tell you about. So uh, it's a celebration, I like to think, but also I'm a little bit critical. Being somebody who works in television, um, it's, uh, I hope people find it an interesting insight. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, till next time, take care.